Uh, do you want me to go? Sure. Okay. Um, my day went pretty well. I had one fall on beam. Um, everything else was pretty, I felt pretty confident in what I was doing. And I felt that I was clean throughout my routines. What I would change if I could, I would probably change beam because I fell. Um, I would just try to be more confident because I've done these skills so many times and I know what I'm doing. I just have to believe that I can do it and just try and just go for it and not waste any time. Just do it. Yeah, I would say the same thing for B. Like, my day went okay, but it uh, could have been better, but uh, for B, I just needed to be more confident. Uh, for floor, I just needed to feel where I was and feel my punch and everything. Fortunately, that didn't go too well either, but that's okay. You always have a next time. I actually, it was pretty good because I competed at Gym Mix and in Italy as a junior, so that gave me experience for this year. So I already knew kind of how my competitors would be like, you know, so I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think for me the transition was it was it was well. Um I had known a lot of the girls, for example Megan, I used to train with her and I sort of transitioned when she transitioned, so it was sort of the same environment. Um and it was it was good. The level of competition was the same, I'd say, transitioning. And I think it was really good. Yeah. And knowing all the girls that transitioned from novice to junior. It was, yeah, it, it makes it easier. Them. Yeah. Because then you can talk with them in between. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I think my goals are going to be upgrading skills, um, mostly on bars, I'd say. Um, I had a couple of connections that I had been training, but when it came to competition, they just weren't ready in the routine, so I had to go back to my old routine. But for me, it'd be mostly bars um, for upgrading and then just trying to stay even tighter in all my routines. For me, upgrading, I think since I'm not very, I'm not a powerful girl, so floor and vault would be my two events for uh, improving. So, but other than that, I think I'm okay for now, but just need keep improving my tightness and quality of my skills so I think I'm good with that yeah um for me I definitely when the opportunity comes I'll definitely take it whether it's in Tokyo or in Montreal for worlds in 2017 um, I'm definitely feel that I could I could be there um, and for as opposed to university I do want to go into NCAA I've seen a lot of the girls from our gym have gone and they seem to really enjoy it so I think it'd be a great opportunity for university yeah yeah unfortunately I'm not able to go 2017 I can't wait for 2018 to come and I can maybe go with Jade yeah. together and then maybe go to Tokyo together improving mm -hmm. I think that'll be really exciting um, well, I finally added in a front skill on bars, which is Jaeger, so I was pretty proud about that. And everything else is about the same, so, yeah. Yeah, um, for me, I had been practicing, as I said before, um, the connection on bars, which was pack and then shaft and shoot. Uh, but unfortunately, I wasn't ready to compete those, but hopefully in the next couple months I can progress it into my routines. Oh, well, I know for me, when it comes to time, I would love to add in uh, a full in on floor or even a triple triple punch front because that would, in case I don't complete my triple, the punch front would kind of ease me up. And for vault, I think the ultimate goal right now is a one and a half or a double. I think that's what Canada needs, and yeah. Um, yeah, for me, on vault, definitely double would be the next step towards um, upgrading that. Um, yeah, on bars, I think adding those, the connections are really what upgrades you and gets your score a lot higher, because um, connection values and bonuses are really what gets you the higher scores. So um, for beam, I think I'm sort of steady right now. 
Uh, but floor, I think adding in a full in or a double layout are the next sort of goals that I would like to put in. Oh. Do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. I enjoy floor and bars because I, for floor, I like presenting myself and I like yeah. showing people what I have. I don't like to be shy, so that's kind of the event I can express myself. And bars, I just enjoy doing it. So. Favorite skill? Uh, yeah, Jaeger and Scotch. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, my favorite run is probably floor because of, even though I'm not that great of a dancer, I like to express myself and I don't know, with the music, it's kind of the most exciting event that I like to watch as well. So that's definitely one of my favorites. And my favorite skill, probably on bars, would have to be either the in-out Takachu or double front, like dismount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when building our teams, I think when we're finding new skills to do, we build on skills that we're already confident in. So like, for example, we both were really good at in-out, and we thought that if you put a Takachu into it, since we were good at that in position, then it would be easier to do um, like we probably could have done like a toe on Takachi, but since we both were really good at in out, um, then I think it's kind of innovation is it's not about that as much. It's just sort of like what you are good at and confident in and then just working on building those specific skills. Um, and building our routines. Um, yeah, I think we both have a say in um, what we're going to add in. Uh, us and our coaches work together to find what complements us um, and what we can improve on easier. Yeah. For sure. Like, exactly what Jade said. I couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, for me, in out, I couldn't do a toe on. So then when I tried toe on, my feet slipped and it actually went in. So I technically did an in out. So then my coaches were like, Oh, you just did it in out. Why don't we just add on from there? So that's where in out to came from, and I think it was pretty cool that they came up with the idea to actually try to catch it from an in out because I wasn't thinking about it. So, um, for me, I think I go through. I'm at the point where I'm growing a lot, and for me, sometimes the in out to catch gets a little bit wonky because whether my center of gravity's off or something. Sometimes I have to go back to the low bar and just kind of feel where I am. And I think my coaches then are definitely like, you can do it, it's just, it's hard right now, but you know you can do it, your body knows what you're doing, and yeah, I think that's sort of what I have trouble with, is just the growing component and trying to work with that and feel your body. No, I think my uh, with our coaches, it's they don't let us do anything unless they know that we're we can ready. do it and if we're yeah. ready to, so whether it's doing another day of timers or you know, whenever we feel ready in ourselves to do it. So it's kind of like a, yeah, uh, yeah you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Like, uh, I know sometimes they have to keep pushing me. To, like, if I'm not confident that I know that I can do it, they have to be like, Anna, you can do it. Like, you've done it on, like, a lower beam or something. Like, it's not a difference going high or low beam. Like, don't let that get to you. They have to give me those little pep talks so I can keep going on. Yeah, sometimes it's just like the mental component. Yeah, for that's sure. That's kind of tricky. Um, my Probably one of my role models inside the sport um, is Ellie Black. Um, I think I just, she inspires me because she's also a fellow Canadian, so that kind of bumps her up a little bit. And just the fact that she's, uh, I've had the opportunity to train with her a little bit, whether she comes to our gym um, to train with us, but I think she's just a really hard worker, and I look up to that, and I think, I strive to say, okay, I can do it, you know? And I think just because she went to the 2016 Olympics, but she's still in it to do even better. 2012. Oh, 2012, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure she had 16. Yeah, that's what I mean. She went to the 2012 Olympics, and she did really well, but she's still striving for the 2016 and to keep going, and I really admire that. I think it's really great of her to do that. Yeah, I definitely agree 100% with that. Ellie is definitely a role model, probably not not just for all the Canadians, but for people all around the world, especially with Pan Ams and like Jade said, going to one Olympics yeah. and now striving for another. 
And another one is Christina because she went to our gym and she was a non-stop worker. So that's yeah. what Elena tries us to do. And since we've seen that happen, like, you know, we have to try and do it too to be able to get up to the level that she went. And another person for me, even though she's American, I really liked uh, Carly Patterson. Is that her name? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I really liked her style of gymnastics. It was very, like, graceful. Artistic. You know, artistic. Yeah. yeah. And I really liked that. And she had some really unique, nice skills, like her beam dismount, her Randolph back handspring, double Arabian. I think that was really cool. So, yeah. And then anyone outside of the sport? Um, for me, outside the sport, I'm going to have to say my parents. Just because they... They inspire me, they make so many sacrifices for me, and I just, they're, they work hard every day, and I'm just, they're really good people, and I admire that so much. I look up to them. Yeah, I totally agree. Coming home from work to pick me up from school every day, like having to miss out all that, I think that's a great sacrifice. And all my coaches, all the hard work they put in to helping me. Oh yeah, they, and they, yeah. They work really hard. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> to help us be where we are. And even all my friends, actually, they all they all text me like before competition, like good luck, and yeah. even just that little bit of it just helps me. Yeah. Um, even my family yeah. texted me after, and they were like, "You did so good. We watched you on the live stream." And I was just like, it was exciting to know that even though they're not here, they're still watching. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See. You're amazing at tumbling. <laughs> For me, I'm more of a punchy person than an artistic person, so I would have to say tumbling just because I'm not very graceful, but yeah. I actually don't mind either, but since I did ballet when I was little, like jazz and all that, like I like dancing, I like showing off, but I don't mind tumbling either. I think it's really fun. And you kind of can't have gymnastics without both, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I started gymnastics when I was three or four. When I started competing, probably I remember I did ODP, so that would be in like at eight maybe. For me, it was like six or seven. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. I don't remember exactly, but it was somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, everything about it, really. There's not one specific thing. To be honest. Yeah, with me. I think. It's sort of like I like the I like the sport and being able to flip around and I think it's really, really cool. yeah. But also for me, it's not just like the sport; it's also the people in the sport. It's like like my coaches and my teammates, and mm -hmm. you just go and I like seeing them every day in the gym. Like, yeah. Oh, school. So you can go, go ahead. Homework. Yeah. <laughs> Homework is the priority, but like on weekends and stuff. I love hanging out with my friends whenever I can, like going shopping, going to see a movie, going swimming. I love to like relax. Yeah. That's about my daily activities. Yeah. Oh, and I love skiing. I love skiing. Oh. Yeah. Um, a typical day for me is I actually live in Toronto, but I train in Oshawa. So I stay at my friend's house who also goes to the gym a couple nights a week. Um, and I also go to school near the gym. So go to school, go have lunch, go to gym, and then come back, do homework, and just kind of relax, and then go to bed. Outside of school, um, well, outside of school and gym, I don't know, I like um, going on walks with like my mom and my dad and my, my dog, I love taking her out, I love hanging out with my friends, reading books, taking oh, yeah. pictures, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my favorite memory was that when I first came into the group that I am with Jane, uh, I was like 10-ish, and I knew like no one else, so like intimidated because they were all older than me. Yeah. And there was one day before I started with everyone where me, Jade, and one other girl, we got yeah. together, just did some basic stuff, and after that, Jade just kind of took me under her wing and showed me everything and yeah. was my partner for like every conditioning yeah. station. Yeah, for me, I think I remember this one, it was the first day that Anna came in and um, I had broke my finger the day before, so we were only, we were on tumble track and I don't know, it was just, 
I don't know why I remember that, but it was just the first day and we were just laughing and it was good. Yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks for talking to me, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic rest of your competition.